If nothing else, The Sims community is known for their investigative skills, and today some in The Sims community have looked into the tuning descriptions of the latest April update, and they have found some signs that we could be getting burglars back in the base game, as well as an interesting new testing program for packs. Before we go ahead and get started though, my name is Simmer Aaron. I cover Sims 4 news, speculation, and info videos, as well as Paralyzed. My question for you today, of course, is number one, can we really believe these leaks? And number two, would you actually want these things to come into the game? So I will say a lot of times I like to do my own investigation, but these are two articles I'm going to be referring to. And the first one comes from Extra Time Media, and it touches on those classic burglars, those NPCs that I know me and so many of us really want to see come back to The Sims 4. Like a thief in the night and code strings in the tuning descriptions, will The Sims 4 finally see burglars make a comeback? The Sims 4 released a short and sweet update for April, focusing mostly on bug fixes and two additional hairstyles to the base game. During the live stream, it was revealed that six new hair color swatches, as well as a revamped afro hair and more eye presets will be coming in the May patch. And if you're waiting for news on the new DLC or you're going to have to wait a little bit while longer, how much longer we do not know. I'm going to skip through this because I've already discussed this on my channel. But there is more. Oh yes, there's always more. Before I proceed though, let's be clear this is very much speculation at this point. Sometimes rogue strings of code get left over and don't mean very much, which I really appreciate that disclaimer. Additionally, there was a reference to this in the tuning descriptions before, and nothing came of it. So make of that what you will. Yeah, we know, but we've had some downtime, and we're going to go ahead and discuss this. So here's what they found. While The Sims 4 patch notes offer an overview of what's fixed, and sometimes even a few clues about what's coming, it's the tuning descriptions that can be the most interesting. It was the tuning descriptions that revealed that The Sims 4 kits before The Sims 4 kits actually actually confirm them. While doing a bit of digging for the latest update, we found something interesting, a reference which has been seen a few times before just to stress the point. The reference simply reads as follows. Set this to false for the case of NPC behavior like being a maid or being a burglar. So that's basically what's in the tuning notes. So obviously we can already hire a maid, we can already hire a butler, but it does have a burglar. So I don't know why they're reporting on this now. I honestly thought it was going to be new for the patch notes, but someone, I guess, went in and they saw, okay, there's burglars in the tuning of notes and we're going to go ahead and discuss it. So seeing that it's an older thing that's been found in the code before, I personally think this is not quite as exciting. I really would love burglars to come back in the game. I think that it's possible they might. We did get firefighters with eco lifestyle, but like I said, I don't really know. I think that this is one of those things where, yeah, I understand it's in the code. I understand that a lot of us really want this, but again, that doesn't mean it's going to happen. So I'm gonna rate that as, Slightly not very credible. So let's go ahead though and let's get into the next supposed leak. And this one is actually more current. So this one comes from Sims Community and it says, could game trials be coming to The Sims 4? Modder Turbo Driver, which I believe they've actually leaked things before, has discovered some new codes in the game after today's patch, which talks about the possibility of trying out packs before fully committing to them. Although the new code doesn't specify which packs would be included, it is interesting to see if more of this comes of this discovery. So this is the actual code if you want to look at it. I appreciate they actually have the source for their information, so I'd rate this as probably more credible. But if you go ahead, it says, in addition to the above code being found, Turbo Driver and Low Poly Pancake also discussed some new UI elements. This can be seen in the new style load UI after today's patch caused a few of the UI mods to need updating, which of course mods always breaks with patches. Interesting UI elements appeared for me when the UI mods broke today and then there's this screenshot right here. It would appear that the game could potentially lock save files that have had a pack in a game trial once the trial period is over. 
Low Poly Pancake also went on to discover a new DLC trials UI file, which also confirms that the game trials are very likely on the horizon. And then again, there's another screenshot right here. It is definitely an interesting move for The Sims that could help many players decide if a pack is right for them before fully committing to purchasing it. So I feel like this one is very interesting. I feel like we have a lot more information on this one versus burglars. I'm going to say that even though I still think that burglars could happen, I would say that the second one is going to be more credible because like I said, the screenshots and just kind of explaining it. However, in some ways, I almost feel like burglars are more likely to happen than something like this. Here's the reason. Burglars, like I said, I don't know that they would take a ton of work to implement. We did get firefighters. They do like to add in those things every once in a while to kind of appease people. You know, we got Bo and Hilda. So they do go ahead and add NPCs. But something like a testing program where you can actually test out a game on trial and then return it if you don't like it. I don't know. I just don't feel like EA would be that generous. I know that sounds bad of me, but I can't really see it happening and I'm not exactly sure how it would work. Would it just be like a refund? I guess it could just be like a trial version of it. Maybe in the trial versions you could only have access to certain things. I could also see that, which would be super sketchy, right? If you only had access to certain things, maybe that doesn't even make sense from a program level. But I just feel like that would be really weird. I don't know why EA would do that from a business standpoint. I guess maybe people would complain less if they didn't end up liking the pack. But then how long would the trial be? Because I feel like a lot of times people's problem with packs is that they aren't very replayable and also maybe they discover glitches down the road. But I don't know if you would discover that if say the trial was only for 24 hours or something like that. Let me know what you think about that. I think it's a really interesting concept. Yes, it would be more consumer friendly, but I think that's unlikely to happen. And as far as burglars coming, I think that burglars could come to The Sims 4, but I don't find that because it was in the code that that's that likely. Now I have reported, I will say this in the past, I've reported on the possibility of story progression coming to The Sims, and that was also found in the code before as well. But like I said, it's always really difficult to figure these things out, and I feel like yes, even if it's there, doesn't mean it means exactly what we think it means. Now, I do say that both of these, if they both came, they would both be great, or at least potentially so. Like I said, I do think, like I do say, I think that actually testing out packs could be abused depending on how they did it, but potentially that could be good. And of course, I'm really down for some more danger and some more consequence in the game. So let me know what you think in the comments below. There are more news there is more news coming on my channel, but I'm just trying to do the best I can because I'm kind of towards the end of my semester. So I appreciate your patience with me on this. It's kind of like Sims news when it rains, it pours and there's always these dry spells. So I'm sure we're going to get some more information about some things in the future. Like I said, I would rate both of these as mm, not super probable right now. I think that they're both possible, but I don't think that this is strong enough of hints to determine this. Let me be clear, I always like to label things as speculation, and I think that both of these articles did do a good job of also labeling them as speculation. Speculation can be fun, I like having discussions, but it's also very important to explain that it's just speculation and not get people too hyped up and thinking that it's confirmed. So on that note, I will let you go. Let me know how you're doing, and I will see you in the next video.